Hello and welcome to the statistics topic, Rules of Multiplication. Here today we're going to see the rules of addition for computing probabilities. And we have two such rules. The first one is the special rule of multiplication, which requires that two events A and B are independent. Independent means that one event is not affecting the other event. So the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So N means multiplication. Okay, the second rule is the general rule of multiplication and is used to find the joint probability of two events when the events are not independent. The fact that one event occurs affects the second event and this is calculated by the probability of a and the probability of b is equal to the probability of a times the probability of b given that this little line here is translated into saying given that a has happened already so because event a happened first that has affected the second event, B. All right, let's see a couple of examples. Let's see the special rule of multiplication, which, as, I, as we mentioned, requires that two events, A and B, are independent. So what is this independent? Two events, A and B, are independent, independent I'm sorry, if the occurrence of one has no effect on the probability of the occurrence of the other. Okay, so this is when we use the probability of A and B equals to the probability of A times the probability of B. So let's see. A student has bought 10 tickets for the school raffle. The school sold a total of 200 tickets and they have three winning prizes. What is the probability that this particular student wins two of the three prizes that the raffle has. If every time a prize is won, the ticket is put back into the tumble. So what is the probability that the student wins the first raffle and the second raffle as well? And when they take one ticket out, they put it back in. So we replace the ticket. Okay, so how many tickets the student has available? For winning, they have 10 students, I'm sorry, 10 tickets out of 200. All right, and means multiplication. Okay, since they're putting the ticket back in, the student again has 10 tickets out of 200 uh, available to win the prize. So 10 divided by 12 times 10 divided by 12 is equal to point zero zero two five that's the probability that the student wins two uh, of the winning prizes out of the three with the 10 tickets that the person has bought all right general rule of multiplication the general rule of multiplication is used to find the joint probability of two events when the two events are not independent meaning one affects the other so it assumes that this experiment is conducted without replacement. Okay, so the formula for this is the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of B, I'm sorry, to the probability of A times the probability of B, given that, this means given that A happened first. And since A happened already, it has affected A. So let's see. The same information, but we're changing it a little bit so that the two events are not independent. So how does this work? A student has bought 10 tickets for the school raffle. Okay. The school sold a total of 200, 200 tickets with three winning prizes. Okay, so that's the same. What is the probability that this particular student wins two of the three prizes if every time a prize is won, the ticket is 
not put back into the tumbler. What does that mean? They take a ticket out, they mention who the name is, and they keep it out. So every time they pull a ticket out, they take it out. They're not putting it back into the tumbler, as we said on the one exercise before. So we are not replacing the ticket back into the tumbler. So the probability of winning one ticket and winning, let me take this line off, and winning the second time without replacement. So this is the probability of winning the first uh, prize times the probability of winning the second prize given that the first prize was won already. So the probability of winning one prize, well, we have 10 tickets out of 200 in the raffle. And if we win that ticket, if we win that prize out, then they keep the ticket out. So the second time around, we have nine tickets and that is divided by 199. So it's a little bit different than the one before. Okay, and the one before, let me show you here. You had 10 divided by 200 times 10 divided by 200. On this one, we have 10 divided by 200 times 9 divided by 199. So the, they both have, we have reduced the total for the number of tickets that we had by 1. And we have reduced the total number of tickets by 1 as well. So when we have probability rules of multiplication, we need to figure out first if the events are independent. If they're independent, then we use a special rule of, a, of multiplication, which means that it is the probability of A and the probability of B are equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. If the events are not independent, they affect one another. Then we use the general rule of multiplication, which says, which says that the probability of A and the probability of B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B, given that A has happened already. And because it happened already, it has affected B. Thank you so much for um, giving us your attention. I hope that this helps uh, clarifying any doubts and have a great day. Bye.